The Boy Who Cried Werewolf, 1973, directed by Nathan Duran, starring Kerwin Matthews, Scott Seeley, and Elaine DeVry. While on a family trip to the woods, a boy's father is bitten during a werewolf attack. Why can't he find anyone to believe him as the bodies start piling up? This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. The first thing I noticed about this film was how old school it felt. There is a lot in the tone and execution that feels like a throwback to the 50s, which is fascinating because pastiche didn't gain prominence in cinema until the 80s. There's a reason for this as well. Director Nathan Duran had a pretty extensive filmography in the 50s, having also directed such films as The Deadly Mantis, 20 Million Miles to Earth, and Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. Duran apparently came out of retirement to direct this film as a favor to the producer. In true old-school film style, some nighttime shots are portrayed using the classic day-for-night technique by turning the exposure down on the camera. Strangely enough, scenes are also shot in legitimate nighttime. The design of the werewolf, created by makeup veteran Thomas R. Berman, seriously evokes 50s B-movies as well. They even utilized the old-school process of generally applying more makeup for the transformation sequences, like Universal's iconic Wolfman films. Fascinating how the werewolf has a mouth inside of his mouth, though. Perhaps this species originated from LV-426? Like many films in the 60s and 70s, uncomfortably casual misogyny is presented early on, as Richie's father is revealed to have left his wife because she went off and became a feminist publisher. In spite of this scummy behavior, she can't seem to resist him throughout the entire film. The cast is overall adequate in their roles, though. With Scott Seeley carrying the film as the titular boy crying werewolf, while Kerwin Matthews murders people to death and buries them in the dirt floor of the cabin shed. There's also a random troop of Christian hippies. I don't think I've seen this many Christian hippies since I watched Godspell. One of the unintentionally funniest parts of the film is the fact that nobody believes Richie when he keeps saying that there's a werewolf. His mother even refuses to believe it after being present for one of the attacks towards the end of the film. Okay, really? Is this a universe in which someone is dressing wolves up in people clothes and then training them to walk on their hind legs? There has to be! These people are far too comfortable to discount the things they've seen with their own eyes. Verdict recommended. A spooky little feature that will have you howling at the moon. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.